Breaking news on the Fed. Steve Leisman has the details. Hi, Steve. Hey, Morgan. Um, we have data on what's happening to deposits at uh, banks in the United States, which we've been watching to see if this issue of whether or not money is flowing out of large banks or out of small banks. What we found is that deposit domestic banks actually declined $97 billion to $16.09 trillion on a um, not seasonally adjusted basis. Um, you did have an outflow from the large banks as well, $96 billion down on the large banks, and that was to $10.7 trillion. And the outflow from the small banks, those are the, the large banks are the ones, the top 25, the small banks are um, just down by a billion of 5.39. Now, they did take a big hit the week before, down 184 billion, but at least for the week, that seems to have stopped. At the same time, you still have this exodus from the banks in general, um, and maybe that money is flowing to um, uh, uh, money market funds uh, it, for higher interest rates, maybe into treasuries. Hard to know right now, Morgan, but you do have this exodus from domestic banks in general, um, with the bulk of it coming out of large banks, and the flow from small banks down to just a billion dollars after 184 billion uh, flowed out the prior week. Morgan? Okay. Uh, I was going to ask you that if there's any sort of sense or intel in terms of where some of that money is going, for example, money market funds or treasuries, as you, as you just mentioned. You take this data, which we're now following yeah. on a weekly basis, you take the Fed speak we've been getting all week, including with John Williams just this afternoon talking about uh, the state of credit and the fact that that seems poised to continue tightening and, and help the Fed do, it, do its work for it in terms of this fight against inflation. Where are we at in terms of the banking picture, especially as we do start to think about earnings in a couple weeks? So I, I'm sorry if it's a bit of a cop-out, Morgan, but it's early days. And I think that was best exemplified by what John Williams said today. He said he has concern about this, uh, as other Fed officials have as well, um, but they don't know the extent of, the, uh, of what's going to happen here. There is an issue of credit tightening, um, and whether or not credit tightening takes the place of interest rate hikes. I'm not sure, though, Morgan, I think this is something to ask our esteemed analysts, whether or not that's the kind of trade-off that's a positive trade-off. It's like, hey, they're not raising as much. But, hey, they're not raising as much because banks aren't lending. Inflation is falling because overall economic activity and investment is falling. So I'm not sure that's the rosiest environment, certainly not for all stocks, maybe for some select stocks. And while you were asking the question, I did pull up the money market data, uh, which we got the other day, uh, Morgan. $65 billion flowed into money markets to a record $5.19 trillion. And that's after, I'll tell you the total, over the last three weeks of data, $304 billion has flowed into money markets. So that's people saying, you know what? I'm not earning nothing on my bank account. I can go over here to money markets. Now, of course, those are not insured deposits. At the same time, the, li the uh, liability side on that deposit, uh, the asset side on that deposit are short-term money market, short-term short government T-bills, usually all short-term papers. So people have a sense of security in those money markets. But again, they're not FDIC insured. Mm, that's a key point to make, Steve Leisman. Thank you.